Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial about importing objects into the Real Flight Simulator. Last video we talked about how to import a KEX file into Real Flight. This video we'll talk about how to use that KEX file to put it into your different airports or create a new airport. So let's get started. <clears throat> we're going to start off by going to the environment tab up here in the top and we're going to go down to create new airport. I'll show you how to do an edit airport. It's pretty much the same thing. We'll click on create new airport and it comes up with a blank uh, field editor here. Uh, there's four different windows here that you can click on here. You can move them around if you want to. Uh, we have the listings, properties, object palette uh, up in the top right and a pilot spawn. So uh, but pretty much this is your main map. Uh, some camera tools that, uh, to go over just a few things. Uh, if you use the mouse wheel on your mouse, that'll zoom in on the center of the map here and uh, zoom out as well. If you right click once, you get the different camera options. Right now we're in normal camera mode and, and therefore we can't move anything around if I click and hold the left mouse button it won't do anything but if we go into pivot camera it gets this icon and we can pivot we can pan and we can do a fly camera so I'll keep it in pan for now so over here uh, this is where your airport's going to title it once we save it these are the different uh, options that you get as and what you terms in terms of what you want in your general surroundings and stuff. I'm not going to go through everything in here because there's a lot of different stuff in here that you can play with and and look at and and whatnot. But the main thing I want to look at is if you just want to create a generic airport to use your object in, um, this is what you want to do. So go down to uh, Detail Texture One uh, and select one of these. So you can have dirt, you can have uh, whatever you want. We're going to click freshly mowed grass because I think that looks pretty classic so um, so that's one of the main ones here you can add an extra one here detail texture too if you'd like um, but not too much you can change your sky color you can uh, do some haze stuff some stuff with water and you can do a panoramic image if you'd want to so there's a whole bunch of different stuff that you can change in there and play around with <clears throat> And learn how to do. So now that we have, oops, now that we have uh, gotten a basic, just plain generic map, pretty much. It's nothing, nothing too crazy there, but it just kind of adds texture to the to the ground. <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to add some objects in here. So if we drop down this menu here, we can see that we have our pilot spawn. And when you click on an object, the properties change here for that object. So you can name it, you can change its position, and uh, its orientation. And so there's some stuff that uh, isn't changeable here. But uh, you notice that your object palette suddenly has something in it. So uh, we can go down. Now this is only pilot spawn, so you need an aircraft spawn as well. And, and that's going to be located here uh, under control objects. And you're going to click uh, plane spawn. Now if you single click it, it just shows you what icon it is. You have to double click it to get it into the uh, simulator. And so if you can click, oh, you have to go into normal camera. And then you can click this and move it around. Now you can also go in here and change the relative position and, and such like that. You can even raise it up off the ground. I don't know if you have a reason for that, sure. Uh, but normally you want to start your aircraft on the ground, zero. <clears throat> so I'm going to move that kind of like right in front of my guy there. And then you can see how here the pilot uh, viewport here. You can see where that plane is going to be located. And then if I want to change its uh, direction so that it's not pointing away from me, it's pointed sideways, I'm going to change that to 90. And yeah, so now we have an aircraft spawn. Um, now heli you want to also have a helicopter spawn. Heli spawn, so I'm going to double click that, add it in there, and I'm going to just kind of put it right next to there. That'll be good. So that's how you put in basic objects um, that are already in the game. So you can also go here. There's like different objects. You know, if you if you want the deck in there, uh, wow, yeah, we just put the deck of the aircraft in there. 
uh, and whatnot, but let's say you don't want that, and so I'm going to say uh, delete object and get that out of there. Okay, there's a whole different kind of cool stuff you can get there. Uh, and you can take a look through and, and see what you want, different runways or trees or vehicles, anything like that. Uh, so lots of cool stuff in there you can add and create your own airport. Now, um, from the last video, we imported our own custom objects here. And those were the KEX files. So to find those, you're going to go under here and their scenery. And these are all of your custom imported objects. And so right here, you'll see that this is the one we imported in the last video. And so as soon as you click on it once, it will normally come up with a dialog box that says creating DDS. And that's just its own uh, imaging stuff for that object. And uh, no worries, though, it's doing fine. It's supposed to do that. But then you double click it, and that'll import it into the, the game. Now I can move it around, same as the other objects. Uh, now you'll see there's some extra here because this is an airport object. Uh, you can do different cool stuff with it. So I can change its position just like last time. I can also turn on collisions or shadows, lots of other stuff. Change its scale, change its orientation, uh, and a whole bunch of different stuff. You can change that material that we talked about in the last video too if you need to. But pretty much it's just the same, and then if you know numbers that you need to have, you can change that. Um, but yeah, pretty much you can just move that wherever you want to. Uh, and then you can add in different objects that you want. You can also add in clouds, the uh, different types of clouds that you can add in and whatnot. These look kind of funny, but they kind of look silly when you add them in a little bit. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat, right? <laughs> so I'm going to delete those. All right. And so once you're done editing your airport object, you're satisfied with the way it looks, uh, you're going to go in and save it. Save as. Let's call it new airport. OK. And <clears throat> it'll reload again. And, and then what you do is you just go to file and exit to simulator. And you get to fly around in it. So it's uh, that's how it pretty much works. And then what you want to, if you want to change something in this airport, you're in the airport, um, and then you're going to go to this other option that says Edit New Airport, and it'll take you right back to this page uh, and everything. And so you can also do this in other airports too. So I'll just pull up a one of the default airports. I'll say let's select an airport. Um, we can go, um, no, too bad, oh, let's try this one, okay, sure. <clears throat> Alright, cool, looks pretty good, now we can go into edit, edit shipwreck, and uh, this is how, how the shipwreck map looks, uh, which is pretty cool, actually, uh, so maybe I'll take a look around that airport in a while, but, uh, but yeah, so lots of cool different stuff like this. So if you want to, I don't know, if, is it possible to add like the aircraft carrier here? You know, you can kind of do whatever you want. So there's lots of fun stuff you can do, but hopefully this will enable lots of people to take, um, take some new stuff to try. So, but yeah, uh, one other thing I want to show you. So if you, if you ever want to delete the airport or anything, um, real flight stores, the airport files in your documents folder. So I'm going to pull it up here. You type in your documents, just the standard documents for the your computer. And you want to go into Real Flight 7 and Scenery, Airports. And that's where your airport's going to be. So I can just select these two objects and delete them if I want to. And then uh, there will no longer be a custom airport called New Airport. It is gone now. So there's no airport called New Airport. Um, so that's where it reads those airports from. So that's all you have to do to delete it. The bad part is, I mean, you could recover them, I guess, but just be careful if you want to delete them. So that is all for this tutorial. Uh, next tutorial, we're going to be going into how to kind of create the KEX files and some more details about that. So stay tuned.